Hi, Eric, Naughty Pleasures, and I am here today with the Grizzly Pro Negative Rake Scraper. Uh, I have for, well, since I started, I have been using this regular scraper, then picked up another slightly smaller scraper, also both very vintage-y. Uh, they work well. I've been enjoying them. I went on ahead and picked up this big guy a while back. Uh, I have, honestly, I have trouble getting this thing sharpened. I'm sure that's just me, and I'm sure somebody watching this is going to tell me how to do it better, and I accept that. I'll take that. I've been afraid because I do like the way my vintage ones work. I didn't want to re-grind the edge on it, but this one comes straight out of the packaging with uh, that nice little negative rake to it. And so I'm going to try that on probably an ancient bowl that I've got mounted up. And uh, once I get it a little bit more rounded, I'm going to test it against the two different kinds that I have and just see how much more I like this one. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I've got the bowl roughed out. You can see, honestly, just how uh, rough this sucker is and how torn out it is on the inside here. And you can see just how dry it is by how, well, how flaky all of the shavings have been. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to hit that inside with the negative rake and we're gonna see just how smooth I can get that maybe not in the transition uh, just given how I did the curve and like doing odd things but uh, we'll, we'll see how this turns out alrighty got everything ready just gonna kind of come in a little bit fortunately where I have the camera mounted I'm not gonna be able to do one smooth pass I'm gonna have to jump over and come around to do the rest but that's all right I think I can get that going so here we go bring it up to about 1600 rpms That is, in the spots where I was able to reach, given how I've set everything up, that is much smoother than I've been able to get with my vintage skews. So, so rotate this around and let's skew up the outside. While we're at it, let's have some fun with the uh, tool view. Couldn't get back here, just given the angle, that's okay. And as so we come around, lots of these pieces, unfortunately you can see, still got some bug holes. But, for some hackberry that has been sitting half done and drying in the garage now for almost two years in the Texas summers and winters, 
that's uh, that's pretty smooth. I think I could start that out with probably 120, 150 grit real easily and finish this out. So all in all, I am pleased. For reference, I just went on ahead and did the back piece of the bowl here with one of my older skews and you can see let's see let's hit a nice spot here this part that I did with the new grizzly tool is just as smooth as the part with the nice vintage so yeah. definitely a big thumbs up from me I'll be using this tool a lot more moving forward so what's fun is I came through here using another one of my vintage ones because I need to get into the corner just a little bit better. And in doing so, did my usual full pass and it is not nearly as good of a cut as the Grizzly tool. So, and this is, I just sharpened this one before starting. The Grizzly tool was fresh out of the box. I haven't touched the sharpening on it yet. So I'm gonna finish out those rough spots one more time. smoother again. Grizzly for the win. So in the end, taking a look at the bowl, um, even more impressed. I had fixed some cracks a while back and did not get the CA glue all the way through. So this black line here and this black line here are actually barely halfway holding the wood together and lightly going with the negative rake no catches and it all stayed together so next step is I'm gonna have to finish the bowl I will need to re-glue and sand a little bit more and I think I will work on scraping out some of the little bug trails to give it an unusual appearance and then take the tenon off so but i'll be using that again for the second round of cleanup but yeah that yeah, was a very good uh very good tool